Hi everyone, Aiden here at The Trailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at this Kurt Roof Mounted Cargo Basket. A cargo basket is a great way to carry extra stuff with you when you're going on your trip, because sometimes you've got stuff in the hitch or you just don't have a hitch and you need some extra space for stuff, whether it be camping gear, maybe some luggage for people, anything that we don't wanna keep in the car or that we can't keep in the car, a roof is a great place to go to store it. Let's check it out. Now comparing a roof basket to some other options out there, you might be considering a hitch mounted cargo carrier or a roof box. On the side of the hitch mounted cargo carriers, those can be great for heavier things because typically they and the hitch on your vehicle can support heavier loads. Now that's not true for every vehicle, but in some cases and really most cases, it's gonna be easier to load up with heavier, heavier stuff. So I'd say if you're looking for something that can maybe support some house projects, getting bags of mulch, concrete, dirt, anything heavier, maybe like a cooler, that's going to be a better way to go because it's easier to load up lower down like that and it can support more weight. But on the other hand, camping gear and maybe some duffel bags, clothes, things that are pretty lightweight, easy to lift up, uh, the roof is a great place to go. And comparing a box to a basket, you've got options. A box is a great way to keep all of this stuff enclosed and locked up. It's a lot more secure. People like those for skis and snowboards because it keeps that gear contained. But a basket is nice because it's a little bit more free and open. We can fit some larger things up here if need be. As long as it's strapped down properly, you're good to go. And typically a basket will have somewhat better weight capacities but anything on the roof, you have to keep in mind the roof's weight capacity on your vehicle and the capacity of the roof rack. That's something that can be a big issue with this basket in particular because it is so big. You can fit a lot of stuff in here and all of this is really just for demonstration purposes because if that cooler were fully loaded, if the boxes on the other side were loaded up with stuff, I'd be concerned about weight. The carrier can support 150 pounds, but that doesn't mean that your roof or the roof rack can, and you always wanna go by the lowest rated component, so we're not overloading anything on our vehicle. Now, if you've decided on a basket, you probably wanna know how much you can fit in it space-wise. Like I said, this one is a bigger option, so if you need the extra room, this can get you that. From front to back, the inside measurements of actual usable space is going to be 58 and three quarters of an inch. From side to side, that's going to be 37 and one quarter of an inch. And you can notice that the sidewalls here help box all of our gear in. Those are gonna be about five inches tall from the base to the top. So it does a great job at holding our things in. And just to give you a bit of a size reference, we've got two plastic totes on the other side. We've got a large dry bag in the middle, along with a blue cooler, a sleeping bag, and a camping chair. So plenty of stuff fits in here and there's even some room at the back end for some extra stuff if need be. And for your vehicle, from the crossbar to the top of the rack is going to be seven and one quarter of an inch to the tallest point. That's gonna be really important for things like pulling into your garage if you still can, and things like parking garages, drive-throughs, any low clearance situation because this does add height to your vehicle. And the last thing you wanna do is be driving up to your garage and hit it on your way in because you've added so much height to the top. All around, you've got steel construction with a black powder coat finish. Even the front fairing is actually a black powder coated steel. You can see we have a few imperfections on our powder coat here, which could just be to poor quality control, but I do like that everything on here is metal, especially the front fairing. That's gonna help reduce wind noise and drag when we're going down the road, so it's not as obnoxious when it's up here. And the fact that it's metal means it's gonna last a lot longer than plastic. A lot of front fairings tend to be plastic, and if they get hit by rocks, they can crack, chip, and get damaged over time. This does clamp around the crossbar to attach to your roof rack, and it does that by having these plastic inserts that'll pop in between these two sections of rail, and you can move them in intervals between the different sections to match your crossbar spread, mostly okay. Because it has to go in those set intervals, it's not always a perfect fit like you can see here, but the U-bolts underneath are wide enough to make it work. So it has that plastic piece in there to set your spread. You put the metal plate over top of the bars with the U-bolt underneath your crossbars, hand tighten in with these hand knobs to secure it. And with those intervals, it'll work with a crossbar spread up to 50 inches if you set those at the maximum points on the ends. 
and all the different intervals in between. With all that being said though, if you find that your crossbar spread for your roof rack is pretty narrow and you're gonna have to put those clamps far in, I wouldn't recommend this large carrier because you do want that supported on the ends. If you do have a smaller roof rack setup, then go with the smaller version of this basket. This version, the larger one, actually uses an extension piece in the middle right here, but Kurt makes a version without that extension piece that's gonna work just the same. It, it'll just be a bit smaller, so if you've got a smaller roof rack, that's the way I'd go. And that's really all there is to it. There's a lot of things I like about this carrier. The fact that it's a tool-free installation, so I don't need to worry about bringing any tools up to my roof, potentially dropping an Allen key on my paint, and the fact that those U-bolts are rubber-coated, reducing that risk for metal on paint contact, keeping our roof in better shape. The all-metal construction is nice too because things like that front fairing aren't gonna be as susceptible to damage over time because it's just a sturdier construction. Some things I don't like about it, the seams between the different pieces here aren't perfectly sealed, so if water gets in, I'd be worried about rusting from the inside out. And just general aesthetics, I don't think it looks super nice in the clamp system, having to work in set intervals does make it hard to get a perfect fit on your roof rack. To remedy that, I'd maybe look into the Rhino Rack roof basket. That's a personal favorite of mine because it just looks good, but they use a track system for their clamps, so you can really dial it in to fit your roof rack and your crossbar spread wherever it's at, rather than working with these set intervals where it doesn't always line up. But if you're looking for something functional to get you started with carrying stuff on your roof, I think the Kurt Roof Mounted Basket is a great place to start. Thanks for watching.